Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm very excited to announce that Crossover version 21.2 beta has just dropped. And today I'm going to tell you about all of the new features and fixes of this particular version. I'm also going to tell you how to sign up to the beta and how to get involved with submitting beta reports. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do, but it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So if you don't know what Crossover is, it's a piece of software that allows you to run Windows games and applications on the Mac operating system. System. and Crossover has access to more of the Mac's hardware resources and that's because it works by translating Windows graphics API calls directly into macOS API calls and generally speaking it runs faster than running a game through a Parallels virtual machine. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how to access the beta versions of Crossover and download 21.2 before the official release. So here I'm using Crossover version 21.1 at the moment. So that's the version that is the latest stable release. So all you need to do is to sign up to the beta tester program, which is completely free. So make sure to sign up using the same email address as you use to purchase Crossover. If you haven't purchased Crossover already, then please click the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link. If you do make a purchase through this link, then you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. If you use the coupon code Apple Gaming Wiki and click apply here, then you'll get a a 25% discount off your crossover purchase. So once you've been accepted to the program, which should happen straight away, and then you've logged into your account on the Codeweaver's website, and what you should find is a new icon here, which is the beta tester menu. And then we'll click on the beta center. And once we're in the beta center, we're gonna to go to the downloads section here. And now we have access to the crossover 21.20 beta. So here I'm gonna go ahead and download this now just by clicking on it. So once the file has finished downloading, we're gonna to go to finder and then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder and we're gonna find the crossover 21.2 beta, which we're gonna double click on. So what I tend to do is to actually overwrite my crossover. So what I'm gonna do is to go to my crossover and make sure we quit out of it completely. And then what I'm gonna do is to drag this over to the applications folder. I'm here, I'm going to press the replace button. So now that that's installed, I'm gonna to go to my applications folder and then I'm gonna to go to crossover and then I'm gonna double click. And it's asking us for fresh permissions on whether to open this or not. I'm gonna press open. So one of the main things you need to be aware of is that when you use a different version of Crossover, then the bottles are gonna be upgraded. So here we're gonna press the upgrade button here. So normally this doesn't cause any problems. However, if you want to make sure that a bottle is compatible with a beta version or a newer version of Crossover, then you might consider recreating the bottle itself as you might run into some conflicts. However, I haven't experienced any issues like that. So this is my existing bottle from 21.1 and I've upgraded this to 21.2 beta. So once you've opened your Steam bottle and you're logging into Steam, the first thing you're going to notice is that the Steam login process is going to go much faster. And that's because of an issue that's been caused in the last few months where the Steam login feels like it's going to time out or it's taking much longer than normal, but Crossover 21.2 is going to fix that issue. And the next thing is that certain launches and games are now completely fixed. So for example, if you want to run Grand Theft Auto 5 with the Rockstar Social Club launcher, an issue that was introduced in late February 2022 has now been completely solved. So previously I did do a a video about this on my second channel where you could work around the Rockstar Games launcher issue by doing a registry edit. However, this is now unnecessary with Crossover 21.2. Furthermore, there are several games which are now working under this version which weren't working previously. For example, the Halo Master Chief Collection, we only used to be able to run Halo Combat Evolved through Crossover, but if we try to run games like Halo 3 or Halo 4 or Halo Reach, these actually perform fine under Crossover 21.1. However, the audio has now been fixed under Crossover 21.2, so I can now report that all of those games in the Halo Master Chief Collection are now working. The exception is Halo 2, which I'm still having some crashing issues with, but that one is by far the worst PC port, so I'm still waiting for that to be fixed. Version 21.2 also includes a whole host of Wine D3D updates and fixes. So Wine D3D is an alternate way of rendering DirectX games on the Mac and Linux operating systems, and it's an alternative to DXVK, which is the DirectX Vulkan renderer, and that uses Molten VK in order to get it to work on the Metal Graphics API. And some games aren't compatible with DXVK and only can run through Wine D3D. Some examples are Neo Automata and also Nino Kuni 2. I'm sure that plenty of other games only work or run better on the Wine D3D. If you do discover any, then please make sure to leave a comment and I'll make sure to do some testing. In Codeweaver's announcement, they've also said that they've fixed some mouse issues within Unity games, and they've also introduced fixes from Wine 6.0.1 and 6.0.2, as well as Wine Mono 7.0. 
So this release cycle of Crossover 21 has been really exciting. In a previous video, I talked about all the new compatibility for games, for example, Grand Theft Auto 5, as well as Battlefield 5. And recently we've also got other games working like God of War 2018. If you want to find out how to get that game working, then please make sure to check out the link in the description for my video tutorial on how to set that up. And also the future of Crossover is really exciting as well. So Crossover version 22 is just around the corner. We're gonna be getting Wine version seven integrated into that release. And that means far better 32-bit WoW 64 support. So that means that older DirectX 9 games are gonna get much better performance. Also, I've made a previous video about how DirectX 12 support is currently being worked on and is due to be released as early as Crossover version 23. And that means that games that rely on DirectX 12, for example, Elden Ring or Cyberpunk 26, 77 or Red Dead Redemption 2, those are all potentially going to be able to work on Crossover 23, which could be released as early as next year. So I do encourage you to sign up to the beta for Crossover 21.2. Make sure also to submit reports in the beta center. This is a really cool resource where you can also browse the new reports that have been made by other Crossover users, and you can see what the latest games have been made compatible with this new version. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other video tutorials and updates about Mac gaming on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.